Hey, you're obviously inside the wine library right now because that's the only place this video is playing and so I wanna say hey, I probably haven't seen you in a while and yeah, I look older and I got a huge beard and I'm still disgruntled that my Jets have not won a Super Bowl since I've seen you. But what I want to actually talk to you about is not the reserve cab, which I'm sure the staff is showing you and this insanity and anytime you can buy $250 wine for 100 bucks, it's exciting. But that's not an everyday thing. What is an everyday thing is a crap load of you are drinking way too much Chardonnay. Chardonnay all the time. Chardonnay for breakfast, Chardonnay for lunch, Chardonnay for dinner, Chardonnay for business meetings, Chardonnay as gifts, just Chardonnay, Chardonnay, Chardonnay. So I'm on a mission in 2015, much like when I started Wine Library TV in 2006, to get you to try different things. And this different thing, my friends, comes from the Bellow Vineyard, which we've been crushing with, the 2010 Marsan. Anytime you can get a wine that has the pedigree of Potts and David Abreu involved from a vineyard manager and a winemaking standpoint. Anytime I can get my <laughs> Rhone Valley white varietal needs out into the world, this is an exciting moment for me. For me, when you can buy under $20 white wine of this quality, you need to attack. So I'll give you a quick throwback to Wine Library TV, a little sniffy sniff. Heavy kind of on the white candies. You know like Smarties? Remember Smarties? If you like crushed up a whole bunch of Smarties, which I used to like to do and smell that, that gives me a little bit on here. Little lychee fruit, uh, which is beautiful on the nose and tons of flowers. White flowers, we're finally getting into spring. Boy, this winter sucked. Let's give it a whirl. And this is where it gets interesting and why I attacked Chardonnay in the beginning of this video. It's the weight, silly, right? It's, you know, Sauvignon Blanc and Pinot Grigio and Riesling, they're all exciting and fun and I'm into them. But they don't have the weight that Chardonnay has and that viscosity on the palate is what so many people are seduced to. Marsan does. While still not being just butter and oak, this has a totally different kind of fresh, bright, Apple, white fruits, right? Star fruit, pineapple, apple, that kind of pear, that kind of thing going on. Spiciness, which is really the key to why I love this. The spiciness on the finish is really incredible. And don't think spiciness like hot food. Relax, boys, I know how long I want this to be. Everybody <laughs> behind me is like, uh, I know, AJ. Uh, the spiciness is more kind of like cinnamon and um, herbaceous kind of spiciness. This wine is incredible. Pair it with fish, but you can drink it by itself on the back porch and enjoy it. Hope you grab a bottle and try it. I think this wine is extremely special. If I was scoring for Wine Library, to me this is a classic 91 to 92 point wine. I think this is incredible. It, it just continues to get better and it's a white wine that will last for five years in the cellar. So if you're really nerdy, put six bottles of this in the basement open in three years, people are gonna be like, whoa, 2010, this is old, and then stun them. Stun them.